Do you believe in mystical stories? Have you ever had a situation in your life that cannot be explained by ordinary logic? Today, I will tell you an unusual story that happened to a man named Max. It is up to you whether you believe it or not. Make yourself comfortable. Let's get started. Max was from a small village, but he moved to a big city after he graduated with honors from the university. He quickly got a good job in a reputable company, and very soon he even got a promotion to a better position. Everything seemed to be going well for him. At the same time, he met Katie. The couple almost immediately started dating, and very soon they decided to move in together. The girl could not believe her happiness. Max was a good-looking young man. Besides, he earned good money and was an ambitious person. Katie was in no hurry to look for work herself, and there was no particular need, as Max's salary was enough for both of them, so she started spending all her time and his money on herself. She visited expensive beauty salons and bought brand-name clothes. In the beginning, she cooked delicious dinners, kept the house clean and tidy, and spoke to Max about his day when he got home from work. But lately, she stopped doing things around the house, explaining that she needed a new manicure. She stopped cooking, claiming that they could just go out to eat. And she stopped cleaning, saying they could just hire a maid. Soon, Katie completely stopped caring for Max or the house, and she only demanded more and more money and attention from him. At first, he happily pampered the girl with gifts and new clothes, but over time, he began to notice that she no longer paid enough attention to him, only demanded more from him. Of course, this began to bother him, but he tried to ignore these thoughts. One morning, there was a heavy downpour. Max left the house, forgot to take his umbrella, got wet on his way to the car, got into the car, tried to start it, but the car would not start. After several unsuccessful attempts, Max decided to go by bus, but he realized that he'd be late for work and he would be reprimanded by his superiors in an already stressful work environment. In the evening, Max left work exhausted. It was still raining, and arriving at the bus stop completely soaked, he realized he had missed his bus. It would be another half hour before the next one arrived. He resigned himself to waiting on the bench. At this time, an elderly woman came to the bus stop. She sat down and stared at him. Irritated, Max turned to her and asked her what she wanted. She replied that she didn't want anything, but after a moment, she started a conversation with him. I know how tired you are, honey. I know about your work, and I also know about your girlfriend who only wants your money. You do not belong here. If you go home to your parents, you will be better off. Max looked at her, wondering how she knew so much about him. He wanted to tell her to mind her own business, but looking into her kind eyes, he simply just turned away. When his bus approached, he turned to look at her again, but she was no longer there. He was confused, but he got on the bus. All the way home, he looked out the window and kept remembering the words of the elderly woman. For the first time, he realized that he was an outsider here. Yes, he had a highly paid prestigious job. Yes, he had a beautiful girlfriend. Yes, he had a large apartment. But deep inside, he was unhappy. He recalled how good he felt at home with his parents and decided to think seriously about the woman's words. The very next day, Max got a call from his friend Sam. Sam told Max that he had just seen Katie in a cafe with some young man, and judging by the way they interacted, it was not just a casual acquaintance. Max could not believe Sam's words. Katie, although she was narcissistic and selfish, was definitely not capable of betrayal. Then Sam sent him a photo in which he clearly saw his girlfriend Katie sitting with a man in a cafe, holding hands. There was no longer any doubt that she was cheating on him. That evening, Max came home and asked Katie about who she had lunch with. She noticeably blushed as she did not expect such a question from Max, but she had to answer directly because he showed her the picture Sam had sent him. With tears in her eyes, Katie said that this guy was her first love. They met before he went into the army. She was waiting for him, and when he returned, he left her for her friend. Then several years later, they met by chance and their feelings resurfaced. They had now been meeting in secret for two weeks. She wanted to tell Max, but never found the right time. Max got so angry that he just walked out. He went for a walk to calm himself down, but when he returned, he found that Katie had already packed up her things and left. To his amazement, Max noticed how much better he felt in his soul. He was actually glad things turned out the way they did. 
The next day, he wrote a letter of resignation, waited until it was signed, and then after a couple of weeks, he left the apartment and drove his car home to his parents. When he returned, his parents, of course, were surprised that he had decided to exchange the opportunities of the big city for their small village, but they were still very happy that their son would now be with them. One day, he went to the store to buy groceries, and in line, he saw a girl. Her face seemed familiar to him, but he couldn't quite place her. She spoke to him first. Oh, Max, hello. Are you staying with us for long? And then he remembered her. It was Olivia. Several years ago, when he was at the university, Olivia was madly in love with Max, but he didn't pay any attention to her as she was too young for him. Now, Olivia was a real beauty. They ended up talking to each other and found a lot of things in common. One day, Olivia invited Max to her home. While the girl was pouring tea in the kitchen, Max started looking through a photo album. He was shocked to see an old black and white photograph that appeared to be of the elderly woman he met at the bus stop in the city. He asked Olivia who she was. She replied that this was her great-grandmother and she had been dead for a long time. She passed away when Olivia was a little girl, but she remembered her as a very kind and sensitive woman. Max could not believe his ears. How is this possible? Did Olivia's great-grandmother come back from the other side to tell Max to return to the village, knowing that he would meet Olivia? Do you believe in this story? Share your thoughts in the comments. Click like, subscribe to our channel, and watch our new videos.